come to order and the clerk call the roll. Mr. Green? Here. Mr. Lida? Here. Adam Natter? Here. Mr. Reeves? Here. Mr. Skelton? Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Wright? Here. We could stand for the invocation and read, 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 read. Let's pray. Lord, we are grateful for the blessings of this day. We thank you for loving us and being our strength in times of trouble. We come to you with heavy hearts tonight on the death of our beloved councilman, Ryan Skelton. We place in your care his family and their difficult journey ahead. We thank you for his time here with us and the blessing of having known him. He will be greatly missed, but we know that he is at peace now, free from sickness and pain. Bestow your peace on all who are grieving his loss. I think Brian would remind us all today that only in you will our souls be at rest, and he would want us to persevere and grow in our faith journey. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, under proclamations, we have Morgan Von Buren, the park direct employee, Randy Lott. Come down, please. Mayor. <laughs> and recreation programs are an integral part of communities throughout this country, including Hoover. And whereas our parks and recreation are vitally important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our community, ensuring the health of all citizens, and contributing to the economic and environmental well-being of the community and region. And whereas parks and recreation programs build healthy, active communities that aid in the prevention of chronic disease, provide therapeutic recreation services for those who are mentally or physically disabled, and also improve the mental and emotional health of all citizens. And whereas parks and recreation programs increase the community's economic prosperity through increased property values, expansion of the local tax base, increased tourism, the attraction and retention of businesses, and crime reduction. And whereas parks and recreation areas are fundamental to the environmental well-being of our community. And whereas parks and natural recreation areas improve water quality, protect groundwater, prevent flooding, improve the quality of the air we breathe, provide vegetative buffers to development, and produce habitat for wildlife. And whereas our parks and natural recreation areas ensure the ecological beauty of our community and provide a place for children and adults to connect with nature and, rec and recreate outdoors. And whereas the U.S. House of Representatives has designated July as Parks and Recreation Month, and whereas the City of Hoover recognizes the benefits derived from parks and recreation resources, now, therefore, be it resolved by Mayor Gary Ivey and the Hoover City Council that July is recognized as Parks and Recreation Month in the City of Hoover. Proclaim this the fifth day of July of this year, uh, signed by Mayor Ivey uh, and President Wright and properly attested.
weeds or grass in certain properties to be a public nuisance and it uh, requires the abatement of such weeds and grass provided in the appropriate code sections. There actually in the resolution five addresses two should be deleted. That would be uh, 1770 Via Dara Drive and 3173 Boxwood Drive which leave 512 Oakline Drive, 3417 Hurricane Road 1536 Ollie Road. Mr. President, I would move for approval of resolution 5428-16 as amended by the city attorney. Second. I uh, motion second. Any discussion for the council? Mr. President, Robert, when when the city cuts the, cuts these yards and puts them into a uh, ship shape condition, so to speak. Yes, sir. What does, how does the city retrieve their money? The city has the ability to place a lien on the property. I know we have the ability. What, what does the city do? It, it would be, do you I, place I don't have the full process, but the city, I know that we could vote, I believe, the council would have to vote. Maybe Mr. Payton can answer that question. I have to answer that question. That won't matter. In the past, we have not been doing that. Uh, from time to time, we have sent bills, but we haven't been successful collecting those bills. We could put a lien on it, have suggestion, and it's such time as a property sale changes hands and we would collect our money. We have not been doing that uh, in the past. If you so desire for us to start that, then we will. So, in the past, Good citizens. That's correct. So if I don't cut my yard, you'll cut it and be a good citizen, and I get away with it. Well, once or twice, but if you make it a habit, then you won't get away with it. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is, when you find these type houses, they're usually full cold four closures, or there's some reason the grass is not being cut, and most times there's not money there to pay the city for it. So therefore, you can't collect it unless you do place the lien. And once property sales, you collect your money. How much money are we talking about? We probably spend, well, depending on the property, but I would say two guys for a couple of hours per house when you go clean one up. It's personally, it'd be a lot of money, but for the city, that's we probably spend less than a hundred dollars to clean one up. It didn't cost more than that to file a lien. That's it. That's the point. Would the city be subject to receive the legal fees for placing the lien at whatever point the property was sold? I'm sorry, but or not, it's just, it's just actual cost of doing the actual legal fees. fees. If there's a cost for filing a lien, you get that. One more question. Thank you, Pike. Uh, we're just in memory, 
what's been on the agenda, I would say we do less than 20 of these a year. So you're probably talking $3,000 or less for a year. Thank you. It's a much better problem than Birmingham's facing with 15,000 vacant houses. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay. Uh, any other discussion from the audience? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The resolution passes. Resolution 54-29-16, Mr. Walters. This resolution declares certain equipment and vehicles as surplus to be sold uh, at a public auction as, a, in a, as is conditioned. It also declares certain police and motorcycles as surplus uh, that will be sold to only to other law enforcement agencies. Mr. President, I would move for approval resolution 54-29-16. Second. Got a motion to second. Any discussion from the council? Mr. President, <coughs> Chief Durses. Yes, sir. Are, are these vehicles sold within the state of Alabama, or is it like we did a couple of sessions ago outside the state? Yeah, these will probably go. We've got some interest from some local small departments. The uh, four we sent to the state of Virginia. They came to pick them up uh, last week. So. But these, uh, these will go, I would think, to one of the surrounding. Policy of the police force to offer them to the local agencies first before we go out of state. Well, pretty much what we'll do is uh, is put some feelers out who's interested. Our uh, our guys that work some of the Talladega uh, Super Speedway races actually uh, talked to some of these uh, riders from Virginia, the police departments of Virginia, and there was one in Martinsville that uh, uh, economically they're hurting and uh, they could not buy new equipment, so they contacted us and. Pretty much the only way they can continue riding motorcycles if they bought used stuff. So that's why we're selling to them. Thank you, Chief. Yes. Additional comments from the council and from the audience. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Resolution passes. Motion to approve the following change orders for the sports facility. Change order number one is an ad to the sports and events facility package 1A non construction. Want to tell us about that, Mr. Westall? Yes, sir, Mr. Wright. This is, um, as I said, uh, Thursday. It is not. Sorry. It is not an add to the project itself. It's actually bringing forward from a, a future project to this project uh, the clear story window uh, add to the uh, the roof to complete the uh, metal building. Okay. Change order number one. B Duck Hoover Sports Facility. Craig General. You want to tell us about that? Yes, sir. Uh, that is for the electrical conduit that we were going to put power underground. That we've uh, successfully negotiated with Alabama Power to eliminate the uh, the need for that, and that offered us a two hundred eighty thousand dollar deduct over the entire project. Questions for Mr. Weston? Thank you, Mr. Weston. Questions from the council? Mr. President, I would move uh, for the approval of. Change orders 1A and 1B. Second. No motion second. Any questions from the council? Any from the audience? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. nay. Change orders are approved. That's the first reading of ordinance number 162309. Mr. Walton. This ordinance uh, would provide for and regulate mobile food units, also known as food trucks within the city. Uh, a mobile food unit is defined as a motorized or non-motorized self-contained vehicle, trailer, or push cart that is designed to be mobile, and serves prepared foods, or prepares and serves food in various locations of the city. Any questions for Mr. Walter on the first reading? Mr. Walter, does this legitimize the ice cream man?
close to 12,000 attendees. And that's very nice compared to last year. Additional comments from the council? Mr. President, I, I missed the working session, but uh, has uh, Mr. Yeager been able to explain to everyone what happened on our bond issue? Did you do that? We did that briefly through a press release, Admiral. Uh, you mind? No, no sir, I'll, I'll be happy to. Uh, on the uh, 28th of June, we went to market uh, and issued uh, and sold our bonds. We wound up uh, issuing about $68.6 .6 million worth of bonds. And they were all sold at a premium, so instead of uh, Borrowing 80 million, we were able to borrow 68.6, but we still netted the 80 million dollars uh, through the uh, use of these premium bonds. Uh, we got what we think is one of the lowest interest rates uh, on an Alabama credit in the last 100 years uh, because of uh, the confluence of different factors. Um, you know, obviously the city's good credit being one of them, but then the market uncertainty and dropping of interest rates due to the Brexit vote just a few days before we went to market. So uh, we uh, are saving on on the front end about $500,000 a year in interest payments. Our principal payment uh, will go up slightly in the last 14 years and we'll recognize overall about a $5 million savings of what we anticipated just uh, a week or two before we went to market. That's how much uh, that was a drastic change in the marketplace. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Congratulations on your team, team Mr. Joe. Thank you. We had the right team at the right place at the right time. Thank you, Lord. Uh, any additional comments, questions for council? If we could, we could stand and have a closing moment of silent meditation and prayer for Brian and his family with the further prayers of the Brian. Excuse me, uh, public participation. 